Hello and welcome to YQ Academy Tutorials. My name is Priyanka and topic for today's discussion is break and continue in JavaScript. So I'm using Visual Studio Code for running the program and my file name is breakcontinue.js. So let me first explain break statement and then I'll take example for it. So the break statement is used to terminate the loop immediately when it is encountered. So let me write a program to make it uh, easy to understand. Let me write a variable name x and I'm using where as the keyword and I'm assigning value let's say 2 to it. Now let me use switch case which we already discussed in our previous video. So let me write switch and then the expression in it that is x. Now let me give the body of uh, switch uh, and let's write cases in it. So first case is 1 and then let's write console.log and the statement which I want to print if this uh, expression is matched with this grace. Value of x is equals to 1. Now let me give break over here. Then let's take another case as case 2. Then the statement in it, let's write console.log. And then the statement which I want to print if this case is matched with this expression. So here let me write value of x is equals to 2. Let me write break over here. Now let's uh, repeat this statement. So let me copy paste it. Now let's give default and then write some statement to get printed when the expression is not matched with any of the cases. And here let me write nothing matched. And to see the output in terminal window, let's write node and the file name that is breakcontinue.js and I'll see the output as since I have assigned value of x is equals to 2 and then in um, this switch I have given the expression x and this x value will be uh, uh, matched with these cases case 1 case 2 and um, Obviously 2 is matched with the second case and, and then the statements which I have written in this uh, case 2 will get printed So here value of 2 gets printed now um, Let me delete this break from here Now see the output Here you can see that uh, since the value is matched with the second case, the second case gets executed and if I have deleted the break um, below this statement, then what happened, the uh, statements which are written below this case will also get executed. So uh, this is why we need to give break since the break is statement terminated uh, the rest of the statement immediately when it is encountered. Now let me explain you the continuous statement. In continuous statement, if within a loop there is a continuous statement, then execution leaves the current further iteration and jumps to the next iteration. Let's take uh, an example for this. So let me use for loop and I'm initializing value of variable i as uh, 0 then let me give the condition part and I am giving condition as i is less than 0 and then the update statement part so I am using i plus plus and here I will give body of for loop so here I am writing uh, if a statement and I am giving a condition in it like i mod 2 is not equals to 0 and then let's give the body of if statement and outside the if statement body let's write the value of i to get printed now let's see continuous statement so in continuous statement if within a loop there is a continuous statement then execution leaves the current for the iteration and jumps to the next iteration 
so let me take an example of continuous statement so i'm using for loop and here i'm initializing the value of variable i as 1 and now i'm giving the uh, condition that is uh, i is less than equals to 5 now let's give the update statement like i plus plus body of for loop so here let me uh, write condition to continue so if i is equals to 3 let's continue and outside the body of uh, if a statement let's write i now to see the output let's write node break continue dot js and we can see the output as 1 2 4 and 5 because in the above program for loop is used to print the value of i in each iteration but notice that the continuous statement which is written inside the body of for loop when i is equals to 3 the continuous statement skips the third iteration then i uh, becomes 4 and test the condition and continuous statement is evaluated again hence 4 and 5 are printed in the next two iteration the continuous statement is almost always used with the decision making statement the break statement terminate the loop entirely however the continuous statement only skips the current iteration so this is all about break and continue in javascript thank you for watching